Today I'm going to be showing you guys a hair tutorial, I think that's how you say it, a hair tutorial on how you achieve this braid, ponytail, puff ponytail in the back. And I just started this hairstyle, uh, as y'all can see in my first video that I post on YouTube. If you already watched that, you know what I'm talking about. But this is my new hairstyle that I've been liking. So, I'm going to just show you guys how to do it. And then, i seen that y'all requested me to do um, my two feeding braids that go down. And that will be coming into my next video. My next video. And if you guys want me to do a video on how I do my edges... Comment down below because that, that will be getting done if you guys would like that. And I might show you guys. Never mind, forget about that. But, anyways, I'm going to be showing y'all how to do this hairstyle. And you might need somebody to help you with this hairstyle. Or you could just use a rubber band. And. But. I prefer you use somebody, but if you don't have nobody to help you, then you could use a rubber band. But using somebody else to help you is way easier than doing with the rubber band. So you will need two elastic rubber bands. Yeah, two elastic rubber bands, one comb, and a brush, and some gel, and... Let's get, oh, I'm not sitting on a chair. I'm actually kneeling down because I was just too lazy to get a chair. So that's why I almost fell. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoy. And my sister will be helping me with this. But she's not going to be in the video because I know she don't want to be in the video. So I'm not even going to try to put her in the video. So, let's get right into the video. Alright y'all, so y'all gonna need a comb to comb out your hair. And this is why I said you gonna need a partner or you could use a rubber band. But I'd rather you use a partner to hold your braid after you finish it. Because you're not gonna braid the braid all the way down. So, I'm just comb out my hair. And my hair is kind of nappy because I already had the braids in from school earlier. So. so after that, this is because of the gel that I have in my head. So don't mind that. But anyways, um, I'm not going to teach y'all how to braid because I just don't know how to teach y'all. So y'all going to take three. <laughs> so I ain't gonna teach y'all, but I'm trying to teach y'all. <laughs> so, um, I don't really know how to explain it, but y'all just gonna regular braid it down. If y'all wanna learn how to braid, y'all just gonna have to go to another video to find how to braid. But anyways, you're just gonna keep braiding your hair all the way down. Not all the way down, but I'm gonna show you so. And that noise in the background, that's the heater room because it's cold outside. And we forgot the window open before we went to school. And we never closed it, so it was cold in here when we got home. So we just put the heater on.
And I didn't mention that you was going to need some bobby pins. So after you braid your hair, make sure you have enough where you could still put your puff, your ponytail in. So you're going to take that and you're just going to put it in a ponytail and your elastic rubber band. And you're going to wrap it around. I just popped the rubber band. Give me another one. Alright, so I got another elastic rubber band because as you seen in the last clip that I popped it. So, you're going to um, put your hand in a ponytail. Remember not to braid it all the way down. So it should look like this, like you stopped your braid from right here on both sides. I hope you can see that, but you stopped your hair from both sides. And you're going to get your comb, comb out your ponytail. Your, your hair does not have to be long to do this hairstyle. Let me turn around for you guys. And then go like this. Until you get it the way you like it. And as you can see, you see where this braid is fat right here. Let me see if I brought my bobby pins in here. Yep, I got them. I got two bobby pins and you can see that the braid is fat right here so all you got to do is bobby pin it wherever you would like fat right there bobby pin And this is the hair tour. I said hair tour. This is the hairstyle that I like. And you can use your brush if you were redoing like your whole head. Like if you were going to start over and just brush it down before you do your braids. But like I said, I already had um, my braids in from earlier from school. So I wasn't going to redo the whole thing. But anyways, you will need your brush, a comb, a toothbrush. I have a toothbrush as my edge styling. And you will need any gel. Well, I rather, I use Eco C gel. I think that's how it's called. And it's in the green tube, the green kind of clear tube. So that's the tube I use. And I'm not even going to show y'all how to do my edges because like I said, if y'all want a video on how I do my edges, you can comment down below and let me know. So this is the hairstyle. Let me show y'all. So this is the hairstyle that I like. And if y'all see any bumps that y'all don't like in y'all hair, y'all could still um, put more bobby pins. But I only had two bobby pins with me, so I'm not going to get up and go get another one because I'm too lazy for that. But anyways, if y'all like this hairstyle, y'all could comment down below. And if y'all ever try this hairstyle, y'all could tag me in y'all Instagram pictures or y'all, um, uh... Or y'all could send it to me on Snapchat, and my Snapchat will be right here, or right here, or right here, or right here. So y'all let me know if y'all ever tried this hairstyle, and in my next video, y'all will see me do my feet and braids, my two feet and braids, and then my next, next video... Y'all see me do my edges. So, 
y'all like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification so y'all won't miss none of my videos and y'all follow me on my social media so like comment and subscribe bye